ride the electro rocket and save the planet. Can I have a big hug? see the new development that we're creating. Okay, this is the basic concept. I could sit here, but I'm busy, busy, busy all the time. <laughs> These efforts are part of building a yogic city to build a variety of accommodations from individual villas to large homes to apartments and dorms and variety of things according to people's budgets, for those who want to live consciously, for those who want to strive for their inner well-being, creating a city either for permanent dwelling or for certain part of the year that they want to come and go, variety of opportunities for people to do something about it. Living among a more conscious society, living among people who are conscious of everything that they do will be the greatest boon more conscious living must definitely come, so this is the whole effort. Here we are at Isha Institute of Inner Sciences, Tennessee. This large space that we have here, all this, this is all part of the ashram, over twenty-two thousand acres. For most human beings, unfortunately, life is going waste in just transactions. People are beginning to believe transactions are the way of life. What can I get from you? <laughs> is essentially the fundamental of all transactions. We must do five percent of our time maximum in transactions. That should be the time we spend in marketplace. But most people not only spend most of their time in the marketplace, their very life has become a marketplace, their family has become a marketplace because everywhere there is a calculation, what do I get out of this transaction? Moving from transaction to transcendence is a very important step that human beings have to make if they have to know the value of being human. Transactional life is very uninstinctive and fundamentally survival process. Do not glorify survival process to a point where you miss all other aspects of being human. So, living in a consecrated space is very important for those who care about themselves, those who care about their families, those who are concerned about nurturing future generations into a very healthy and blissful kind of generation. If this needs to happen, there has to be consecrated spaces. So this space has taken a lot of effort to acquire and now it's going to take much more effort to consecrate, but we want to consecrate large parts of this land so that people can live in that kind of space.